We're here at Concord Hand Designs with Marie Foley, also known in, to everyone in Concord as Mrs. Santa um, or Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Which do you Claus. prefer? Probably Mrs. Claus. Okay. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about how what you do for the holidays? For the holidays, we gear up uh, year-round. We sell year-round items, but then during the holidays, we fit all of these Christmas items in. We have a lot of Hanukkah, a lot of Christmas. We get in the holiday spirit, as you can see. We all dress up. We have fun hats, and we hope that the community comes in and shares our festive feeling. We came to interview you actually a little before the event because we knew what would happen the night of the event. Tell us what happens in this store the night of the Holiday Open House. Well, the Holiday Open House is always the kickoff to the Christmas season in Concord. Santa comes down and goes to the tree, and then everyone manages to somehow cram into this shop. <laughs> And we are full of kids. The noise level's high. The energy's high. We have a great time. People actually shop that night, but most people come around and get an idea for what they want to put on their wish list. Now, I know you ride in the parade starting down on Thoreau and Sudbury, and you come down through town um, in one of the antique cars, generally. Yes. And when you get down to the tree lighting, can you tell me what happens down there and what's the highlight? What happens down there is there's usually the sound of Concord is down there singing. And the big highlight for us is that it's the giving tree. So everyone brings an unwrapped toy or a gift for a child. You hand it in at the tree, and then the Concord community chest disperses them. A lot of people actually come in during the week and buy either at the toy shop, the 5 and 10, or from us, a gift to give at the giving tree. And they keep them unwrapped so they can make sure they're giving them to age-appropriate individuals when they are dispersed and to the different charities, which is a great idea. Okay. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, honey. We all need to look better. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Pat Cooper from Andrews and & Andrews. Um, Pat, why don't you tell us a little bit about your store and about some of the holiday things you have here. All right. Uh, well, we're Andrews and & Andrews at 32 Main Street. And we specialize in women's special occasion clothing, but we do do a lot of sportswear. And, and we find at Christmas time, one of the favored gifts for men is to purchase cashmeres for their wives. So that is something that we have a lot of. And then we you have also cashmere in there, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> yes. But um, no, the cashmere is always a, a gift that women love. It's decadent, and, and they don't really buy it for themselves that often. And then we also have a special holiday thing going on, and that is with um, Geiger. We have their inventory as well as our inventory in right now. So we're very fortunate to have that. And then during this season, we also have brought in Mary Frances handbags. So we have a large collection from She Was Nominated Designer of the Year. Pat is our um, announcer at the tree lighting ceremonies downtown. Again. Again. Every year we can get her to do it. Um, you why just choose the person with the biggest <laughs> mouth. Why don't you talk a little bit about what happens down at the tree before the parade gets there and when Santa gets there? Okay. What uh, we basically do is we have um, lots of singing and, and a lot of audience participation, which is... Uh, for me, it's part of what starts to set the season. Everybody gathering and and the look on the children's faces and the rosy, rosy cheeks from the cold weather. And you look out and it's just a sea of people wandering around in downtown Concord and really sharing the occasion. And then um, what part of the things that happens is we have the, ele the electric light, that sounds like the TV show. The light department family comes in each year, a family that's been chosen, and they help light the tree. So we basically do a countdown in the tree lighting. It's a, well, it it's a nice way to kind of kick off that evening where everybody then goes off and enjoys the, the special things that are going on in all the stores. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pat, and um, we'll see you that evening. I know you always have music in your store. And you Absolutely. Pauline Oliver is always in here playing piano, and there's a lot of carol singing that goes on right here at Andrews and & Andrews. And I will be here. Good. We'll have something for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're here in Lynn Evans for Potpourri with Coco Richmond, who's the manager. And Coco, why don't you tell us a little bit about the store and about your Christmas plans here? Well, the Concord store has been in the Main Street for approximately 18 years. And Lynn Evans it now is the founder, and she has nine stores. And they're all doing quite well. 
six of them in Massachusetts and three of them in Connecticut. And it's a life, you know, contemporary clothing for all women's lifestyles. And of course, we're getting geared up for the holiday gift giving and stocking stuffers and uh, New Year's Eve. So hopefully, are we you selling all the things on the tree too? Oh yes, yeah. all our ornaments. We take great pride in that. Every year we have wonderful, wonderful ornaments, beautiful scarves, gloves, hats, pocketbooks. I mean, great gift giving. Now, I know and high in very good quality. I know you're doing a special event the night of the Holiday Open House. Can you tell us what's going to happen here? Yes. Well, we'll have um, refreshments and we'll have wine, cheese, crackers, cider, hot chocolate. And we have a harpist for the evening, Rebecca. And she frequently works over at the Colonial Inn and does private parties. So we're thrilled to have her on board this year. Um, we missed out on it last year. She had, she was booked elsewhere, so we welcome her back with open arms. And that's really our excitement, and we're getting geared up, you know, food for the kids and what have you. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and we'll see you that night. And um, it's supposed to be a little bit of snow. So. Yes, of course, we love that. Well, that will bring people in for our sweaters and coats. And I'll be back in for some of the Very good. Thank, thank you. you. Concord is handing out free hot chocolate like it does every year. And we've, we've served, see, 75th anniversary was this year. Right, Dick? Right. 1,500 cups of hot chocolate is given out. So far tonight. Every year. Our sixth year doing it. So, what other events do you do in town? Let's see, what we, uh, Dick, Dick. What other events do we do at 4th of July? We do the uh, slush. We, uh, a lot of the... Um, Pops concert in April. Pops concert in April, but also we do... Um, the, the memorial uh, was a Rotary Club uh, project. The helipad at the hospital was Bristol the Rotary Lodge. Club project. We serve at the Bristol Lodge, which is, which is a home uh, a meals program in Waltham. Did you get the ark? The Minuteman Ark. We serve with the Minuteman Ark, doing different programs with them. So we're a community service organization made up of uh, different members of the community, business community. About 80 people. Right up, playground. Dick, what other projects have we... Ride Out Playground. Oh, Ride Out Playground we did as well. Dick, what other projects have we done? Dick. Dick. 
What other projects? I got the helipad, I got the World War II. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Here we go. The, the skate park in, at the high school was a project in 2004. And uh, the ride out field house. We're also involved, Rotary is very involved in uh, eradicating polio across the world, internationally. Oh, that's a way to create a accomplishment. Yeah. We're, all right, well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. When, when should we look for ourselves? What happened? <laughs> when should we look for ourselves? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who <laughs> knows? <laughs> thank you very much. Sure. Take care.
<laughs> we gotta let the photographers do their work. What are we doing here? We've got Santa in there, the Santa in there, yeah, the not Santa. not the one that was out there, the imposter that was out there. The Santa is in here. The guy out there with the tree lighting, total. Uh, we don't know where he came from. Santa's been here. Uh, he's been here all day. We'll have to check him out. Absolutely. Look at me for a second. Check. He's got ID and everything. Oh, we just saw it. In I'm gonna put that right on my list. Okay. Very nice meeting you, and you can have a balloon if you'd like, too. Oh, you got a balloon. All right. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What are your names? Okay. You guys know what you want for Christmas? We have two pictures of that. Oh, sure you do. Come on now. Let me get down the shot down here now. Oh, okay, little teeth on. It's like the vessel. Here you go, kids. Thanks for coming in. Very nice meeting you. Thank you, Sam. Okay. Whoa, look at that camera. Merry Christmas. Hi. What's your name? Billy? That's a nice name. Thank you. You betcha. Did Janet get the shirt off? Five me? Did Janet? Oh, how's the cotton candy business? Good. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> What, what is this? Is this somewhere here? This is Goldsmiths 3. <laughs> what do you usually do here? Um, sell jewelry. <laughs> Hello, love. We're still the cotton candy bar. We're just getting the cotton candy. Get on the other side of the room. All right, here we go. Set you up. Okay, Neil, there. Thank you very much. So, so how long have you been Rudolph? All this?
What was it? What the Fourth of July or something. This is yeah. an excuse. He had a party there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were there? You were there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we know no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the snow.
The snowman in the yard is frozen hard, he's a sorry sight to see. If he had a brain, he'd complain that he wishes he were me, were me. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, mm -hmm, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, mm -hmm, how I hate going out in the snow. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas.